It's been a very busy year and we're sick of these tents. So join us this weekend as we bring some luxury to the campsite. When you're at a festival literally every week, you don't get to spend much time in your own bed. And as fun as that is, we do miss the home comforts quite often. So come with us down to Cheltenham at 2000 Trees as we try and recapture some of our home comforts in the tent. We are TPD TV and this is 2000 Trees, one of our favourite festivals in the world. So get comfy and join us for the real deal. We can't possibly give enough thanks to our supporters on Patreon. Without you, we literally couldn't do this. Join now for extended cuts and exclusive early access. Good morning. morning. 2000 Trees. 2000 Trees with the original squad. This is what made trees so good that first time. There was just three of us and there's just three of us this week. We're going to make a quick stop off somewhere you wouldn't expect because we want a comfortable weekend. We spend about two days a week in our own bed maximum. So we wanted to make sure that we've got some home comforts this time. All right, let's get on the road. Well, once again, 2000 Trees proving it's one of the nicest and friendliest places. I've never been asked all year, is that wristband comfortable enough for you? But do you know what? It was. Thanks for being so nice. <laughs> they've, they've not learned though, have they? Like every year, it's the same shitty like parking pass where you can just print it off at home. <laughs> like we made better ones. <laughs> we made better ones of them for Coachella ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I forget that as a small festival, Trees is just super convenient. Oh, Here's the entrance from where we're parking. So with the aim of creating a nice, luxurious, homely setup this weekend, we we're not doing the one bag wonder, and we've brought our arch nemesis a trolley. I know we're not in yet, but I can't believe how easy this is. I can practically see where we're going to be camping, and that's what I love about trees. It's just so small, yet so good. And we're back, back in our usual spot on the hill because we're idiots. But you know what? It's a good central point to find everything because the water point is just down there. I know the arena's over there. It's all good. It's good to be back home. All right, we've got Razzy's tent up while he's handling some other shit. It looks good to me. I'm sure he's going to complain about it, but tech one of them Razzy that's for you mate let's have a look inside there's nothing inside so why would we have a look yet Jake trip number two trip number two got we're ready essentials here I hope they let us in with the TV. Why would they not? Because <laughs> it's a TV. Yeah, so? It's not glass. So we had two days, essentially, to conceptualise and execute this setup that you're about to see. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. A few people have already clocked on what we're bringing in and laughed at it. So if they're laughing, you better press like. Right, it's done. And the only error is I've put the door on the wrong end, so I have to start again. Excellent. This is where the real nonsense actually begins. Just finished doing a bit of work at 2000 Trees. Can't wait to see the other boys have caught up. Hello. What? This is good, isn't it? <laughs> We're making good progress here. We've got it done. As a man who champions efficiency, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Right, so we're having a little bit of trouble getting it into the actual tent. And also it's <laughs> drawing quite a bit of attention, uh, which is not really what we wanted Yeah, Obviously we love the attention, but we didn't want it just yet. So just bear with us and we'll show you in a sec. It's halfway there. Perfect. That's what we were missing. After a lot more work than I wanted, the camp is almost done. We're gonna give you the grand reveal in a little bit, but first we're gonna get some food. And 2000 Trees is famous for its great food. Michelin star, I've heard. Slow roasted chicken curry, and it looks pretty good. I went for the meal deal. It was 14 quid for the curry, a samosa, and a drink, which I guess in this climate, it's not that bad. To start with, it's very good. Nice meal. But then the sauce ran out, and it was just dry as fuck. Tasted of literally nothing. Five out of 10. We're really pleased to see our friends Fat Franks have finally got their foot in the door at 2000 Trees. Big up the boys at Fat Franks. It's not sponsored, but we still love you. Now, obviously, we're camping and we need somewhere to sleep, somewhere to get a good night's rest, am I right? We know all about a good night's rest here at TPD TV. Allow me to show you the bedroom. This is truly where the magic happens. <laughs> here we've got a nice double bed. Yes, I know it's. Look, it is a double bed, that's right. Ikea's finest and cheapest. Nice bedside table either side. A few little drinks, a nice little 
oriental cat. I've, yeah, oriental, is that all right? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. It's got a nice plant, a bit of plant life, some lovely cushions, double duvet. I can't wait for tonight's sleep if I'm so lucky. So everyone's going to get a chance to sleep on the luxury bed, but we do need to now decide who that's going to be. And to do that, why don't we crack open the Monopoly and we'll have a game of Monopoly to decide who uh, who gets to sleep on it. That's a good idea. Or in fact, that might take a little long. So why don't we just roll the dice and the highest two numbers sleep in here tonight? I'd rather play the game of Monopoly. We don't have time. We've got to make a video. Oh. But we need to tell them about today's sponsor. Ad time. Folks, it's time to talk about today's sponsor, our friends at Ugreen. We're here with the Ugreen Power Room 1200 Portable Power Station, and that is what is making our setup so luxurious. Let's tell you a little bit about this power station. The Power Room uses the same battery technology that is used in most electric vehicles today. So it's really safe, and you can charge it up to 3,000 times, and you'll still have 80% of the battery life available. The PowerZip Tech charges the Power Room faster than ever. It can get from 0 to 80% in 50 minutes with an AC charge. That means it's so quick, you can do it and take it out on your adventure. What he means there is if you forget to charge it like I did the morning of, you can just plug it in like when you wake up because it takes me about an hour to get ready because I'm like right slow and that. No problem, it's 80% charge and then guess what I did on the way here? It was a three hour drive, I charged it in the van. You can get portable power to loads of high powered items, 90% of them to be exact. Use power tools with it, you can use the stuff that we're using it for or you can use it for kitchen essentials anywhere when you're off the grid. I use it to clean up uh, my van using my home vacuum cleaner. It's got 100 watt USB-C and USB-A built right in, which means you can charge all your tech, whether that's a phone or a laptop or a drone or an Xbox 360. And with solar charging, it can get a full charge in just four hours. It's a combination of our sponsors and you guys watching that enables us to keep doing these mad things. So a big thank you to you and thank you to you, Green. Check out the link in the description. A sincere and humble thank you for from us three at 2000 Trees for watching and thank you, you Green, for sponsoring this video. Click the link. Adover. I guess I'll roll first then. Oh, nine, not Ooh. bad, my favorite number. Come on. Does that count or do we? No, you gotta, you gotta you do it again. again. Okay, I'm happy with that because that was a two. Eight. Oh, it's, it's, it's still been a winner before. Oh, it didn't do it, didn't do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> the dice never lie, yeah, brother. It's me and you tonight, mate. Me and you tonight. Oh, but he snores. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stole this idea from me. Right then, so we're off to see the first band of the weekend for us, which is Holding Absence, which is a band that we like. <laughs> Right, right, back home. Yep. It's cold, you know. Step number one. Yeah. I'm gonna hide this plaque. I'm gonna hide under the bed. God, it's freezing yeah, cold. Under the bed. Under the I'm gonna bed. hide it under the TV stand. Literally hide it under <laughs> the double bed. Good idea. Can you open that up for us? No. Sound disco? Right now? We're not, yep. We're having a quiet beer. No. I mean, literally, Sound Disco hasn't even started yet. Like, the, yeah. where, where, they've not even set it up yet. What do you mean? Well, the guy needs to go on stage and set up this Sound Disco set. <sighs> well, if you're not ready to party. I mean, I'm ready to party. Fine with me. I mean, I, I, I'm ready to get in. I'm ready to like so maybe nerds. like pre-party by you know getting my fingers ready. You know what I'm saying? Oh please, your fingers ain't. Your fingers. <laughs> Let's get this party started. I'm a bit drunk. We each have to finish a song before we go out. So Valley's done, done "Welcome to the Jungle." It's got three stars on "Welcome to the Jungle" on hard. <laughs> You said I was pretty good. Just you wait. God, what the fuck is going on with this man? <laughs> See, issue with the hardware. No issue with the hardware. Is this issue with the hardware, right? Mm. Raz, what is I, the I, same I swear bit, to, because it's the same bit, it's evidently you. Your timing is atrocious, musically and in the real world. 
<laughs> Shall I sleep under the bed tonight? <laughs> no. Sleep on the sofa? Since I was a young boy, I played the sofa. Right, we're out of here. What? <laughs> we're off to the silent disco. We've already got the headphones on. I've heard two songs and both of them are from Guitar Hero 3. I can't see where I'm walking. We're going to have a good time tonight. Thanks for the light, Vals. It's okay, no worries. This is me. I'm the light. I forgot how shit the silent disco is to vlog. <laughs> The annoying thing about silent disco is when it's a song you don't like, you can't escape it. And Razzy has no idea what I'm saying, isn't that right, Raz? What? I know you can't hear this, but it's fucking generic. I reckon we're two songs away from Last Resort by Papa Roach. Right now, we've got Rolling by Limp Biscuit, and we just came off. Lincoln Park, and before that, it was some other shit. It's good mixing noise. He's good. He's good at mixing. Now I know you'll be loving this shit right here. Just was the one who's come true. Now what I left is moment. I see your name in lights. They really make it hard for us. Like we love going out, delicious music, silent disco, all good. But when you're literally going back to back with Chop Suey and fucking Corn and some for one and all the generic yeah, stuff. That's a yawn, that's a yawn in case you didn't see it. My God, I'm bored and I've had my headphones off for at least five songs now. Oh, let's listen to it's the next one. So I mean, it's boring. Ready? Ready? Numb, is it just numb? Is yeah, it it's Park? Lincoln Park. It's the most generic song. It's numb. Oh, but it's not encore. I guess that would be more generic. Can you go to Can you let me come to my house? Can you let me go? Can you want to? Be me more like. And be less like Do you want to see something great? I want to see something that look brilliant, yeah. Oh, that is good, man. <laughs> is it? Oh, is you want to good. see like that. better than that. Gonna get nice and comfy. I can lie down like this if I want a little extra support. I've got my only fools and horses for pillow. Oh, this is nice. Oh, you bet. <laughs> well, I guess that's something I need to fix straight away. I mean, I'm fine. This is what we were fearful. <laughs> what is going wrong with this? <laughs> You're just not very good at this. What do you mean I'm not very good at it? You're not very good at sleeping. Turn that off. Oh, God, that's bright. Welcome to a two-minute TED Talk on injustice in this world. They're in there with double bed, lovely duvet, two side tables, lovely living room experience, you know, the whole shebang. My tent as well, like, I, that's my tent. The roll of the dice decided that I have to be in here tonight. On the floor, I just had to inflate my own bed. Um, a bit shagged. I drove here. I, I, I'd guarantee I was up earlier than these two gump cunts. And to top it all off, I've got work tomorrow. I need to be up like early tomorrow. There's there's such injustice in the world. <laughs> thank, thank, thank God, thank God it's all hilarious. Eh? Good night. I hope tomorrow's better than this. I might sleep in the van tomorrow because at least I've got a double bed for myself there. Goodbye. Peace out. <laughs> Fuck you. Where's my fucking thing under here? Why is water under here? <sighs> I'll worry about that. Right, you turn those lights off and let's go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Night.
Good morning everyone, and what a nice day it is. A little bit breezy, but a nice day. But it's weird, because when I was in that tent last night, I didn't think it was going to be, because it was absolutely freezing last night. And even when I woke up this morning, it was cold. And Razzy came in and was like, oh, come outside, it's really warm. Like, how can it be warm when it was like so cold in there? The sleep itself, mmm, come see, come sir. Because Rob's slats had gone, Every movement I made, I was worried that it was going to happen to me, so I was kind of on edge all night. Um, also, my pillows kept falling off, which was annoying, but it was cool, I guess. Like, I remember waking up and not realising where I was, so there was that, I guess. Now, that is some great water pressure. That's what you want from a tap. Great water pressure so that it fills up quicker, so you're not causing a queue. So Rob's still asleep, and I couldn't be asked just sitting at the camp. So I'm going to go for a bit of a walk, have a look at the campsite, have a look at the arena. Because actually, the campsite is separate to the arena now. So basically, if you want to camp, not a problem. You can just walk straight in. You don't need a wristband. If you want to go into the arena, you need to get your wristband. So basically, people have come and camped, and they don't even have a ticket to the festival. Because like, yeah, our friend was coming. We might buy a ticket, but we heard we could just camp tonight. So they've just camped last night. Well, this might be the best night's sleep I've ever had at a festival. And you can tell that because it's 1 p.m. and I'm still in bed. God, I'm so comfortable. What the fuck? <laughs> Am I seeing shit? <laughs> Why is there a parrot here? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Who's bringing a parrot? It was there, I I'm telling you. <laughs> the work never stops for us. We're even at the festival and doing some work because we've got such a tight schedule festival every week we need to make sure we get the content out for you so we're even working hard now thanks to all of you for supporting us and especially thanks to all the patrons that means we can do this every single week big up you guys something i've noticed i don't know if there's been a recent innovation in festival cackers but the toilets here um and at rock vector were like they were slightly scented so like rather than it just stinking of like bleach or whatever stuff they use in, in the actual like bowl of it all it actually smelled like blueberry or something so it was actually quite nice <laughs> So there's not really too much going on. So we figured out that there's a pub quiz starting in 15 minutes. So we're going to try and um, and do some of that. Ready? Yeah. Do you know? I don't know about you, but I'm great at pub quizzes. So they've run out of printouts and they've run out of pens. So we're doing it on our phone. Special to general knowledge. Water. Ariana Grande, Kate Beckinsale, and Kim Kardashian have in common. They're all female. They're all female. Number two. The Battle of Hastings. Hastings Direct. This quiz is hard, you know. It's genuinely difficult. I don't think there's a single question we've got right so far, except the Nile. And they've all dated! But they are all female, so I'd say that's right. Well, the quiz was alright. What I could have done without was turning around and seeing some fucking woman changing her baby's ass right there in the middle of the tent. I don't know if it's it I, I don't know if it's controversial to have an issue with that or if it's like a you know you should be allowed to do it anyway. Just go to the changing thing. Yeah. There's a disabled portaloo right there. Yeah. I don't want to turn around, accidentally see a baby's ass covered in cack or any baby's ass. Let's make that clear. Just the fact that it stunk as well. You were inside a tent, so all you could do was smell shit. It was awful. I thought that pizza here last year was fucking brilliant. So we're gonna try that out and see if my thoughts are correct. I'm amazed how quiet it is, to be fair. There's literally no one queuing for this pizza. Once again, that was fucking gorgeous. Lived every bite. 15 quid, alright? Yeah. 15, 15 quid. quid. We all got the same thing. There's no point in doing the food review. We got the pepperoni pizza, loads of chili flakes, a bit spicy, very good, 15 pounds. That sounds like a food review to me. I have no idea who that was. But they're pretty good. I like. Ooh, one tree. Two tree, 
three tree. There was a lot of moaning about 2,000 trees last year online because the showers cost eight quid and I, I understand that. There was also a lot of moaning about the kids area being full of adults and you were pleased to know there's no adults in sight aside from this guy and this guy and me. about 2,000 trees is the fact that it is quite small. So that means that I can literally walk to my van and back. And it takes maybe 10 minutes. No problem, love it. Nice, quick, efficient. Give me a beer. Right, we're off to see our first band on the main stage. Guess what? It's the same band we saw last night. <laughs> Like I literally just said, everything's quick, nice and easy, really efficient. So I'm going to bar now to get a beer and watch how easy this is. Can I just get a lager? What have you got? There we are, that literally took 30 seconds. Not even that. Yeah. Oh, We've just seen a band playing to literally no one. So I think it would be good if you just go and check them out. This is what they're called. Have a listen. From here, get that beer How in the bin. What are you all doing? Woo! What are you all doing sitting down? Come on. We're off to see a band now, and the last time I saw members of this band, they were clashing with Radiohead at Leeds Fest in 2009, and I went to see this band instead of Radiohead. It's a band called No Devotion, and it's made up of the members of Lost Prophets that were left behind. I've never seen them, so let's see if they're doing all right. Stupid place to have the fucking support pole. You can't see the stage. <laughs> These must be the most annoyed men on the planet from headlining Leeds Fest, all because their mate was a fucking. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Wookie is a, a very good band, and they want to like the old school pop punk bands. I saw them in Leeds recently and I've never heard such a tight band in my life. Unfortunately, they're at a festival here so they don't sound great. Oh my god, there's six of them on stage. What? It's a pop punk band with only six members. So there's three guitarists, a bassist, drummer and a singer. Thousand Trees lets you bring in your own booze to the arena and because of that you don't end up spending too much but we do want to give some back into the system because we love trees so we're gonna get some booze from here even though I've got a Budweiser in my pocket do you know what moonshine is it's like made in the bath in it I mean yeah I, think. I don't know why I asked like, I don't really know what it is but I've seen like other people drink it and it's kind of a quirky little thing since your photo booth's not working, we're gonna do it ourselves. I'm so, gonna go get my Mac and we're gonna open the photo booth. The, the front man of the Wundi is just saying like everyone here should do like at least one act of community. So we're gonna go support a small independent pie place. Lamb and chorizo pie. It was eleven pounds and it's fine. I don't know, I can't taste the chorizo, it just tastes like any pie. Here we are at the shop, uh, the alternative shop. Guess what they're playing? Fucking backlit. I think that um, Foo Fighters one's all right. Like, Foo Fighters do shit merch, but that's pretty good. Oh, do you know what? That's all right. That's good for you, that. I just don't like some 41, though. What about, um, 
What about Pantera? You, I, you, 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 you really like Pantera. I don't, I don't yeah, you like do. Racism. No, the, you, you listen to them all the time. No, not Pantera. Yeah, you do. No, yeah, no, you do. You said how much you love Pantera. You said They're not called Pantera, you dickhead. It's Pantera. I was going for a bit of a Danny White look. Oh, ugly. Red wine. Lovely, specially selected by Tesco. Fruity red. What more could we ask for? Oh, nice, man. To the speaker. Stay clear. Well, I suppose. Fuck it, it's gonna overflow. Cheers, mate. <laughs> can you put it, can you hold up like a... Yeah, I'll make sure it sounds good. Feeling good, Raz? I feel literally fine. We're missing soft play. Soft play. That is, oh, that's so fine. I'm happy about it. God, it's so dark in here. Oh, please, sir, may I have a refill? Right, all right. Oh, please. It's... Thank you. Yes, sir. Right then, folks, you join us here at 2000 Trees for the first ever annual, oh shit, annual now, the first ever annual guitar row competition. So I'm going to get a started. Everyone's going to play the song Lay Down by Priestess on whatever difficulty they want. And whoever scores the highest score wins a ticket for 2000 Trees next year. Uh, they don't know it yet, but I'll send them an email and ask for it. So if they don't give us one, then I'll pay for it myself. Let's go. to win a 2,000 trees ticket for next year with the score of very nice let's give a round of applause for Robert everybody thank you you want to sit in the hot seat yes this is gentlemen mr. Gibbo how long have you been yeah, playing yeah, guitar hero um, so I first started well, in when was the first guitar hero release Rob 2005 that man knows his stuff. I haven't played for a while though, so I'm a bit out of practice. I'm getting my excuses in <laughs> What a way to ruin a song, eh? <laughs> 223,713! I think that miscounted. I think I actually got a higher score than Rob. Welcome to the hot seat, everybody! Round yeah. of applause! Woo! What's your name, buddy? And where have you come from? Andy and Middlesbrough. Oh, nice. Up the borough. Yeah, man. <laughs> So really annoyingly, we've played a lot of guitar today and um, we've bled the power dry. <laughs> um, which means the winner of the competition is the only man who could complete it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah! Woo! Going to 2,000 trees next year, how does it feel? Uh, well, it just feels like a cheap victory, but a big, <laughs> <laughs> and a big shout out to our only other contestant. Yay! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> sorry, sorry, you get, sorry you didn't get a chance to play. We'll charge this bad boy hey, open. You know what, mate? It's a podium finish anyway. So, I thought I'd lost my phone, but what actually happened is Jake used my phone and then put it somewhere where I'd not been. So, I picked it up and I was like, surely I didn't leave it there. And then I checked the last clip that was filmed on it and it was something Jake was filming. But thankfully, they just fucked off and left me to fend for myself. So I couldn't even get one of them to ring it. But, you know what, Top Gear moment and that. Each to their own or every man for themselves. Silent disco time. Now we've got to find these two idiots. We're at Propaganda, and that's uh, like uh, where we used to go in Leeds. Oh, Propaganda, I miss Propaganda. Away, but in a time we know it, and there's not much else to do anyway. Looking for a place to get. 
Kennedy. Please do the cake. Welcome to 2000 Trees, the home of the best silent disco in the world. And I can confidently say that. No bother. The best silent disco, hands down. Super massive black hole. I want to give a big shout out to whoever is on green tonight at 2000 Trees on the Thursday night. Because your songs have been bangers. God, sometimes I just want to jaw that cunt so bad. <laughs> Five times. Subscribe. Ring the bell. I'm going to trade, trade this life for fortune and fame. I even cut my hair and change my name. Here you go. But then I was like, I don't want you to think that I'm trying to like, you know. I really want some crisps. This shop sells crisps. I'm going to buy some crisps. Buy some crisps. Oh my God, Kim buys the crisps. But I'm not fair to buy those Crisps. Uh, where, where are you going to go for food? Oh, probably the shop, shop. over here. Shop. Well, the shop's not ready. The shop's not for food. Crisps. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. I'm going to believe it. So when you go to give your headphones back, yeah. they scan them. Yeah. And it just apparently refunds straight to your original method of payment. I don't believe <laughs> that. I don't at believe all. that. I've got a cold bollocks on that. <laughs> no, but they were they were nice and they said like Oh they, oh, they were nice. Oh well, if they were so nice. I get I'll tell you what, nice. this video's not gonna come out for a, a few weeks. Let's see if we get the refund. We I've fucking better get the refund. There's another deal. What's the other deal? What's the other deal? Beans. No, we don't want beans. This cheap price, man. <laughs> That's a <laughs> bargain. <laughs> Please uh, try. I don't want to try anything crazy. Me. Just keep like Harry people. Potter on the train where he goes, we'll have the lot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as about we just cut our losses and we'll go our way. Fair enough. We'll see you tomorrow. Fair enough. All the best, guys. She's so annoying. They wouldn't charge us 10 grand for no. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, I've got hammered tonight. Yeah. Hey, I've got absolutely oh. fucking crisps. Crisps. Oh, where's my crisps? Where's the water? Crisp? Did we get water? No, we didn't. No, Rob's got water, so I can't be guaranteed it. Well, what do you mean, Rob's got water? It's like, like, <laughs> it's like Rob's got water. Like, we all came here together. Right, it's our last night in the deluxe penthouse bedroom. Yeah. Feeling good? Cool. You got the Vasa? Yeah, the Vasa. Jake, have you got a water? No, but I'll grab one. <sighs> All right then, Razzy, bedtime. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, you seem to be on a higher platform than I am. Always. <laughs> Just every day, bro. Jake's falling asleep. I can hear him. Hey, Jake. Yeah, he's got a, he's, he needs I can to, hear him snoring from yeah, here. He's, he needs to drift off. Um, so we're going to play some lullabies. I've got to see. Just relax and let yourself drift off. Good morning. It's going to be a real slog getting all this shit down and packed away, but we've got to do it, I suppose. Today there's only one band that we want to see, surprise, surprise, and they are the mighty bullet for my Valentine, headlining the main stage. Maybe the best headliner trees have ever booked, so we'll see you in 11 hours for that. Yep, they do ice that air, we're all good. So, a lovely lady called Becky in the 2000 Trees group has made a scavenger hunt nice. for kids to do. So, as we're all someone's kids, we're gonna do it ourselves. So come with me and Jake as we try and complete the scavenger hunt. The first thing on the scavenger hunt is to find a flag. Well, that was easy, I've already found one. A red flag right there. Red flag, you're a red flag. Right, flag. Easy. There's one, two, three, four, five, six flags right over there. Piece of piss. Now this one's gonna be really easy. You've got to find someone with blue hair. Okay. Let's have a look. Again, big wing. Good girl. Oh, oh my god. Perfect. I can't think of a better example of some blue hair. Now someone playing guitar, that should be pretty easy. Because guess what? We're at a festival and I can hear some music. Up next, our favourite, a pizza stall. Let's try and find one of them. That's going to be difficult. Pizza stall. Fun fact, 
the, that pizza stall is one we love to come to at 2000 Trees, and it's so good they've even decided to put two here, one there and one over there. Double Woo! pizza. Right, we got to find now someone in a onesie. I mean, technically, it is a onesie because it's an all-in-one. It's Tigger. Now we need to find someone in fancy dress. Oh, Tigger. Now we're looking for a special colour or fancy patterned tent, mm. which might be difficult actually. I mean, does a does a flag on a tent count? No. But I'm your daddy. Not with that kerning. I'm searching for the colourful tent. I'm searching for the colourful tent. Well, there's a colourful jazzy tent. Shit, that, I, I think we found the second worst shot in TPD history. Wow, that is bad. Hey, there hey. we go. God, the iPhone's got shit. Next on the list, we we shouldn't really be allowed to do this because it's not Father's Day, but it was my dad's birthday yesterday, so maybe it kind of does count. We're looking for an ice cream van. Big up, happy yeah. 50th birthday to your dead dad. To my dead dad. I mean, it's not really a van. No, it's not. It's kind of like a trailer. It's like a caravan. I don't know if that counts. For the sake of keeping this video, keep, for the sake of keeping us sane, I'm going to say that does count. A little bit of TPD information for you here. This is the tangerine fields, and this is all like pre-set up tents that you can like get. It costs this much. Rob, find that out for me, please. And yeah, if you don't want to bring a tent, it's already set up for you. I don't know why you wouldn't, though, because it's so easy to get from the car to the camp that it's not even a problem. This is going to be a tough one. We need to find someone in wellies and it's fucking red hot today and there's not a fucking hint of mud so wish us luck. You say that. Do a 90 degree turn. <laughs> fucking hell. That was easy, wasn't it? God, that was easy. We need to find someone with a tattoo on their hand. Does that count? It's kind of on my hand. Absolutely. For the sake of our sanity and not repeating stuff, the mini golf's still here, but we ain't gonna do it because I've got a better handicap than he does and it's just not worth the competition. So this here is VIP camping. I think this is like a paid upgrade that you can do. We certainly got the memo because everyone was moaning last year that the VIP area wasn't nice enough. This is fucking well nice in here. Really nice, they've done a great job. We got frozen daiquiris at Glastonbury Festival. Did you know we've been to Glastonbury? That's the new one by the way. And Coachella. And, and Coachella, Coachella twice. And this is another strawberry daiquiri. And I'll tell you what, it's bloody nice. So this is like the wristband tree. It's a tree of like all the old wristbands. So we've got this wristband. <laughs> have these got any money on them, do you think? They, are, they really have done a brilliant job in here. It looks excellent. It does look good. Good work, trees. Last fucking shot. The next thing on the agenda is to find a bug. Let's go over near these bins. Well, we found a bug, this lovely Volkswagen Beetle behind us. Yeah. So, not what you were expecting, but we thought outside the box. And the Beetle is a lovely car. It's a nice field, this. On another series of TPD getting to places where there shouldn't be, we found some water. Trees is a festival where they don't really give out shit. But here we go, we've got a... Oh, it's a holding absence. Oh, wow, that's great. Fucking brilliant. What a genius bit of marketing that is. Brilliant. Well done, Lucas and Co. That's very, very smart. Absolute 10 out of 10. This uh, vegan chicken burger thing. Really, really nice. 10 quid, and I'm very impressed. Do you know what? I've had a fucking lovely day today. Nice. It's been the best day of the weekend so far. Well, we've not necessarily done anything. No, we've just we've... kind of walked around, spent some time with some friends, and just chilled out, and it's been lovely. Mm, this Today's really captured the essence of what Trees is about. We've already checked this one off off the uh, scavenger hunt, but we're going to double tick it now because I found another bug. Hey, I know sometimes we get like quite a bad rep for being a bit yobbish and a bit like careless but i'm actually very proud with the way that we've cleaned up the site here that's all of that is to go there's a few bags down it down here and it's all to go we've let we we actually have left no trace which is that's good right <laughs> Right, everything's back in the van. Another good job, well done. Now we're gonna go try and meet Simon from Biffy. Well, in a in an amazing kind of twist of fate, we've had some face time with Simon Neal in his dressing room, and the, and I'll tell you about it in a sec. We're so fucking incredibly fortunate 
We met um, a viewer of the channel earlier in the weekend and his dad's a lighting engineer for Biffy Clyro. And then later on in the day, I'm like, I see him again. I'm like, oh, I, I wish I'd have met Simon. And he goes and has a word, managed to get like a few minutes in the dressing room with, with Simon. I had a really nice, like it was quick obviously, but I had a, such a sincere little chat with him. And he had all the time in the world and he was so nice. And we got a picture and I looked terrible, but I don't care because I'm just so happy in it. And it's just so nice to tell someone that means so much to you directly to their face in this fucking proximity that you're the fucking best and they gave us a big hug. And you could tell that when we were telling him this, it wasn't as if like he was trying to rush away or anything like that. He was listening to every single word that was being said and took it all in and genuinely gave a genuine reaction to it and it was just so nice. I showed him a picture of, my, of the signature guitar that I've got. He, he was looking at it on my phone. He's held the phone case, so that's Simon Neal and Post Malone and Rob Kellis that have touched this case. Three icons. I'm so fucking, what a great, what a great day it's been. 2000 Trees is very good. Hello everybody. <laughs> we are Empire State Bastard. <laughs> to try this for years and I've never done it so I'm gonna eat it and then I'm gonna tell you what it was like. I'm just really emotional about um, meeting Simon Neal. This gets the first ever CPD TV seal of certified excellence. This has been brilliant. I got the mango sorbet. Well as we sit here at Upcoat Farm eating an ice cream waiting for bullet for my Valentine. We gotta say we've had a really nice time. This festival is still great. The challenge for us is we've done it four times now, and it is, of course, the same festival, so we've done pretty much everything there is to do here. And we really felt that on the first few days. We were struggling to stay entertained, but today has been so fucking good that it just completely like makes up for it. To find someone on shoulders. Oh, what, a, what an organic moment happening right here. <laughs> wow, what are the chances of that? Oh, nice. to the best country in the fucking world to see some more bands out. Bands are on it! Sweet, Raz. Thank you for coming. I always come. <laughs>